Now, for weeks, people across the nation have been voicing their opinions over the recent overturn of Roe v. Wade. Legislative action will soon be underway in Indiana. Tomorrow begins the special legislative session at the Indiana State House, where two major topics will be discussed. News 10's Blake Dollier walks us through what's expected to happen tomorrow. Two topics up for discussion at Monday's special session are abortion and inflation relief. Indiana lawmakers are expected to ban abortion with a few exceptions and possibly give taxpayers a rebate. Since the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade, Indiana has been expected to ban abortion in some form. It could be the first state to legislate a ban like this. The abortion ban bill that's expected to pass would allow exceptions in cases of rape and incest. It would also have an exception to protect the life of the pregnant person. Republican Bruce Borders says the bill is about what he expected he says he doesn't like the language that creates exceptions for rape and incest, but he's in favor of protecting the life of the pregnant person. While he hopes those changes would be made to the bill, he says he would still vote for the current bill. If that's the, the bill that's left standing at the end of the day, which is better to vote no on a bill that saves no lives or a bill that saves you know, let's say 98 or 99 percent of the lives. All lawmakers representing the Wabash Valley, except for one, are expected to vote for the abortion ban. Tanya Paff is the only Democrat representing the Wabash Valley in Indiana. She's against the proposed ban. Another topic of discussion at the State House will be getting money to Hoosier taxpayers. Governor Eric Holcomb and House Republicans want to give $225 to each taxpayer, but the Senate fears this could fuel inflation. Instead, the Senate wants to cut utility taxes. Borders says he supports direct payments to Hoosiers. With gas prices being what they are, with utility rates being what they are, with groceries going up uh, radically as they have, uh, there's no reason why the taxpayers wouldn't be better off having that money put back in their pockets. PATH wants a combination of the GOP's wishes. She said in a statement she wants direct payments, utility taxes suspended, and the gas tax suspended. I'll be at the Indiana State House for day one of the special session and continue coverage Monday at five and six. For PAF's full statement, go to our website. Reporting in the studio, Blake Dollier, News 10.